All right, so I haven't cleaned my chain about, I don't know, about 100 miles or so. It's important to clean a chain because you minimize wear on your cassette and on your chain rings, which I'm going to be cleaning too. So about 100 miles, dusty freaking Vegas, you get gunk build up. I see it there. Shit is nasty. Um, that should give you an idea. Alright, so what do I need for this? I need my trusty chain cleaner. And I'm out of a solution. And if you run out of a solution, don't worry about it. You can get some Dawn with water. Should probably do like a 50 50 or 75% water, 25%. Uh, soap, dishwashing, fluid, whatever. Personally, I go with the degreaser, biodegradable. Gotta be safe for the environment. Simple grain. And that's about 50 50. And right after I'm done cleaning the chain, I wanna make sure it's nice and pristine. I give it about two or three passes on this. They say do 10 revolutions on it and then redo if necessary. I do like 50 revolutions, take it off, dry it, do it again, take it off, dry it, do it again, and I'm done. And the chain comes out really, really clean. After I'm done, I use the dry lube on the chain. I use this stuff. Cycling self-cleaning bike lube. And I'm pretty much out on this one, so I think I'm going to have to re-open up the new big guy. Yeah. Ten bucks. It's worth it. Best choice for dirty, dusty, and sandy conditions. So, it doesn't attract dirt. Unfortunately, out here, there's no way around that. So, here we go. Alright, so, like I said, we're getting ready to do the chain cleaning. I already got the chain cleaner on here with the simple green. There is a fluid level line on here. Kind of hard to tell, but fluid level should be right around here. I overfill it just so that when you're holding it, all the bristles are covered. And all these things drip, by the way. They all drip. There's no way around it. A couple things you want to have on hand. Your dirty shop rag, which I used working on the truck the other day, so dirty as heck. And then I got a microfiber that I use for these things, which is what I use to dry the chain after I clean it. Then I apply the lube, obviously, and go from there. So, unfortunately, since I need both my hands, I using one hand holding the camera out, I'm gonna cut this video, go to clean the chain, and. You guys get to see the before, and I'll give you the after shot when I'm done. Alright, so I already gave it one pass. As you can see, the suds are still on the chain. All the nasty crap's coming off. But on here, if I do this, well, it's hard to tell. But you see those little black specks? That's all the dust specks. That's extra materials on the chain that can make the chain abrasive and it'll start eating up your chain rings and, and your cassette. Uh, these fuckers are about 220 bucks a pop. <laughs> For a decent set of these it's like 200 bucks. And it also wears down your chain. Your chains, well this one's about 80 bucks I think if I remember correctly. And it's about what the top of the line chain goes. So you're looking at about 500 bucks in crap, not to mention your jockey wheels on the, on the pulleys. Those only cost me 50 bucks, but still. Uh, yeah, you want to keep this clean because it prolongs the lifespan of all this expensive equipment. I mean, yeah, this stuff wears and tears. So does this. And so does this. This should last about five to 700 miles or so. But you can already tell there's a difference in one pass. There's less gunk in there. I'm going to give it a couple more passes and then dry it up and we should be good to go. We'll see how shiny this sucker gets. 
Okay, so I lied. It really only took two passes. In other words, uh, fill this up the first time, pass it 20, 30 revolutions or so. You basically put the sucker on here and you put the top portion on it so you got all the bristles in there and make sure they're all a bit wet and then you back pedal however many revolutions and then stuff just starts falling out damn it's bright out here it's hard to get that but I got it all spilling and going over there not worried about it because I'm using simple green it's biodegradable meaning that it's not going to harm anything and all I have to do is come back and just rinse this out with water and it's going to go out into the grass. Once again, biodegradable. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but I lied about going three times. I really only did that twice. And Jane already looks... Oh yes, I like to clean her. Clean chain, happy chain. So then we go by, we dry it, lube it, dry it, lube it again, and we're done pretty much it. I try to get at least one drop on each one of these links. That way it's you know properly lubricated. I mean it moves freely right now but it's, if you roll your finger you actually feel the rollers which are these little suckers in the middle here moving. But the uh, problem is if I don't lube them with all the dust and crap that they get here they'll start to seize up and that hinders performance. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I got the new derailleur on here and I marked where the clamp goes because the hardest part of getting this sucker on is getting this aligned properly and at the proper height to clear this sucker. Uh, also, I got the chain stop. So if you don't see this on your bike, don't worry about it. You may not need it. I put it on here as an extra bonus because when you shift from your big uh, your big chain ring to your small chain ring uh, there's potential that it could fall off the small chain ring so rather than have my expensive carbon frame get marked up I'll have this little sucker here to protect it so it keeps the chain and catches it if anything uh, obviously you adjust the high and low on the derailleur to keep it from moving too far that way or too far this way I had a deal that it would have come too far this way so it was literally popping the chain off outside on the big chain ring, fixed it already. So it's good now. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, so getting into the mood, I already dried it. Like I said, I gave the chain two passes. You couldn't really tell it's shiny. But if you get in here where you used to see that extra crap, that gunk build up in here, uh, it's not there anymore. So, clean chain, happy chain, clean chain, happy bike. It prolongs your shift, your shifting mechanisms, everything. I'm trying to see if I find a spot where the chain's got somewhere on it already, maybe, but I can't really see it that well. Uh, actually, if you look where my finger is, where it's a little dark on the inside there, it's hard to focus but because it's so shiny now there's too much light but like the little scallops on the inside which are right underneath my nail here there's like a little scallops in there that's where you see the wear it's pretty even all across so I'm not worried about it looks like we're good to go so I'm gonna lube it up dry it up a couple times call it a day uh, cassettes not too dirty so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'll probably hit that one up on the next pass. And all I do there is I spray it with simple green and I grab a, a brush I have and I just brush it. Same thing with the chain rings, they're not that bad. Uh, 